So again, we're with Max Kaiser at MaxKaiser.com and Stacy Herbert, one of the producers and uh, stars of the show there. And, and you were explaining to me how the hacking scandal worked, who's going down right now, and where it's going. I mean, this is inside. You were telling me some stuff that's blocked in court right now because you're a victim. But just say as much as you can, uh, Stacy, explaining all this to us right now. Well, my feeling is that it first it's Murdoch and the News of the World organization that got caught first doing this. Now, Murdoch, That's the first domino. The first domino. But they were much more powerful than the other organization, which is the Sunday um, Mirror and the Mirror Group and the Daily Mail. So what Murdoch did had a lot more control over UK politics, I'd say, than Piers Morgan ever had. Piers Morgan was a powerful editor of the Mirror and therefore had a lot of control of perception of the population here in terms of, you know, the people he can ruin, people he could not choose not to ruin, and, but he wasn't as powerful as what the whole News of the World Murdoch organization was. So they're taking down, once they take down Murdoch's group here, Rebecca Brooks, who you would have seen probably yesterday, was in court, um, so was Andy Coulson, the former editor of the News of the World as well. So they were in court to deny charges, they said, of the hacking, of any knowledge of the hacking. But we all know there are many people who will be able to testify that they did know about the hacking. So once they take down the top, then, of course, they'll be able to go after Pierce Morgan and the Mirror Group, Tina Weaver, at the, at the Sunday Mirror. Why did it begin to break in the first place and, and, and then get into where you think this whole scandal is going? Uh... Well, it involved, by the way, it's also leading into a murder investigation as well, because what the News of the World worked with a group called Southern Investigators, which are, um, they're, uh, you know, detectives. They were, it was formed by a former Scotland Yard detective, former police officer, and his partner, and it looked, apparently, allegedly, well, it wasn't alleged, one of the guys died with an accident, he was found with an ax in his head, one of the partners, and... The allegations are that it could have been this involvement of the partner, the guy who was the former Scotland Yard uh, police officer. Sure, but regardless, the hacking scandal was uh, working with the police. Well, this is what the, the the guy that they caught was working with them. Like one of the guys with the records, all the the that the uh, News of the World would hire to follow you was the Southern detectives, and it was his journal of who he was following and his information that he's doing jail time now, by the way. But he's, um, it, was the, it was that records, the, the records he had of who he was following and who he was hacking that was provided all the evidence against these. Uh, sure. So why did certain elements of the government allow this to come out? Because obviously this is well known going on. And what's the larger it's, geopolitical ramifications? It, it, was, it, it was the Guardian newspaper that, that got this information out in the public domain. It, uh, I don't know how. Yeah, they what's going on with the Guardian? They're kind of like liberal, but they actually carry our stuff sometimes. Yeah. Well, the Guardian also broke this story about the NSA uh, hacking the the uh, taking and they've been millions criticizing of Obama for persecuting people. Yeah. Sure. Well, the Guardian is part of what we were talking about earlier. There is a left wing press, but a real left wing. Yeah. To, more so compared to the U.S., you'd call it a real left wing press. I mean, there are a lot of people who are critical of the Guardian as being a bunch of lubbies who support a certain element in British culture that is not terribly politically. Uh, has a lot of political veracity, but they, there is, they do break stories that you don't find in the Telegraph or other right-wing newspapers. Well, they have their niche, okay, because the Guardian is very pro-war, so they're all for, they, they were all cheering for Iraq invasion, Libya invasion, they, they don't mind war, but they do, you know, they will, they did go after Rupert Murdoch, so it was only because of the Guardian that the Murdoch scandal broke. Um, they did go after. They do go after certain powers that they're not afraid of, and uh, that they're ready to go after. Amazing. But bottom line, you are actually in the investigation, testifying privately. You can't get into all that, but this thing is coming to a head. I think so. What can you tell us on record? Well, I hope it leads to Piers Morgan soon enough. Yeah, because you were. T I mean, I don't know how much I can say on record here, but you're saying they're kind of going after other people, but. At least in your case, uh, the, the info you were saying that, that, that you experienced, only one person reported it? 
Yeah, Pierce Morgan, actually. Well, how do you know corrupt police? I'm not defending Pierce Morgan, but how do you know corrupt police didn't sell him that info? He didn't know where it was coming from. Uh, well, no, no, they always have one. Like, Mur Murdoch and Pierce Morgan hired the people to do the hacking. So it's kind of like Don Corleone runs the mafia. Yes. Or Hitler yeah, runs well, under him. But, but the, problem, the problem for the UK is I don't think maybe the Brits can answer. They don't have a thing like RICO. The, the thing is, with RICO, you, you can take down a mafia organization by saying, well, the guy, Murdoch, profited from this information that he had his footmen collect. Yeah, even if the they cops. try to have buffers, it doesn't work. Well, yeah. the, the cops are, are motivated to make money, and the money comes from the editors of these newspapers that paid them for the information. So that's, they don't, they're not freelancing, they're just on hacking, thinking that they might find something that they could eventually sell. So they, they use police them. power to hack stuff yeah, and they, it sells they're, they're the media. Stuff. The thing so it's NSA really what, sells what, stuff. What, what's yeah. important yeah. here in this in development of this story is that it's jumped from news of the world where the scandal started to the mirror. So there's another tabloid involved. That's another dimension to the scandal. This is where Stacy kind of crosses over. Her story crosses over. It shows that this is a conspiracy, a real conspiracy, involved not only the news of the world newspaper but now also the mirror. Uh, is involved. So now we have a, another institution now implicated wow. in this massive phone hack. Wow. So where does it end in your gut, Stacey? Well, I'd like to know, there, there are a few things that, like, stories that started. So, like, Jude Law, who's a British actor, famous actor, apparently he was, he was speaking out and he was hacked in New York when he was in New York. So they when use the hacking to harass political people. It's not just they're making money. I've read well, that. Murdoch, that Murdoch is used influence peddling. It looks as though he was leveraging his phone hacking to is increase he, his political leverage. But 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 Murdoch's group is a New York Stock Exchange listed company, so they should be subject to the U.S. law against um, bribing public officials in other countries. Right. So, so he should be under investigation because that that is a U.S. law, the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. Where he should actually be personally. Sure, sure. So, subject. where does your gut tell you it all ends? Um, <laughs> where, well, I. Uh, uh, prison. Some, uh, some I've said be from the prison. beginning that I feel that it's going to catch up to Pierce Morgan. And that Pierce Morgan will be implicated and that he will suffer some dire legal consequences. That's what I've been saying now for five years. So that's what you think? What you were saying from your sources, it's coming to a head. It, it's yeah, it, it's coming to a head by British standards, which could take years to get through the courts. <laughs> All right, but they're definitely scared. All right, folks, Alex Jones signing off for Infowars.com. Talking to Stacey Herbert, Max Kaiser. I'm here with the crew, Bilderberg 2013. More exclusive reports on so many fronts coming up to Infowars.com forward slash Bilderberg, or just go to Infowars.com and follow the banners. Backup site. PrisonPlanet.com. Follow us on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. Follow these guys at Max Kaiser on Twitter. Uh, and this is uh, what I heard off record is even more extraordinary. So hopefully I'll twist their arm to come back on the show tomorrow to give you even more info. So Alex Jones signing off for now for InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv, the real alternative media.